Good Monday morning. Hey, let's start the week out right. And um, I didn't do that this morning. I started the week out with a, are you kidding me? Is it morning already? I think when we lose an hour of sleep, when we f spring forward, I lose, <laughs> I lose that hour like every night for the next month. I don't understand how that works. It's one hour, one time, but for some reason it messes with me. So I started thinking about, have we been doing this for eternity? Cause I don't think we have. This happened like at some point in the seventies or early seventies, seventies. I don't know, but for some reason, we we get an hour stolen. I love what happens at the end of the day. I love that I have an extra hour of sunlight. I love the whole idea that spring is coming. Just just a matter of nine days. It's 311, y'all. <laughs> nine days until the 20th and then spring has sprung. So this week, if you're starting out sleepy like I was, and if you're contemplating eternity, because did we switch the clocks back or forward for eternity? We didn't. But here's something that happened for eternity. Crazy. Whether you believe this planet has been around for thousands of years, millions of years, billions of years. Don't get me started on carbon dating. <laughs> One thing you can know is that before this earth was ever around, before the universe was ever around, before anything was ever created, God chose you. The Bible says that before the world was created, God chose you. The Bible says that God has good works for you to do that he planned beforehand. He loves you and he loves the guy next to you. And the guy next to you might need a hand today. The guy next to you might need a, a word of encouragement today. Here's the cool thing long before this world was ever even created, God chose you. And he planned out these super cool good works that you would do. All you have to do is do them. The weight is not on you because he also promises us in the Bible that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion. He's carrying all the weight of it. There is no stress. There is no worry. But this week, when we're all an hour less on sleep, this week, when we're getting ready to spring into spring, this week, think about how long God of the universe has had you in his mind and in his heart. Think about how much he knows about you and the amazing things that he has planned for you. This day, this hour, keep your eyes open. This very hour, is there somebody who needs a word from you? This week, this month, this year, this lifetime, he has so many incredible things planned for you. But the coolest part about him choosing you, choosing me, before the foundation of the world, before he created the world, the coolest part about that is he loves you. <laughs> he loves me. He loves us. He loves us. In fact, the Bible says that we're his joy. Jesus wasn't dragging his forehead when he went to the cross. Because we are his joy and it was for the joy set before him that he went to that cross. 
So guys, today, this week, remember you're his joy. You can be someone else's joy too. It's your choice. How do I relate to the person beside me? Well, I don't know. God chose you before he even created the world. And he pre-planned the super cool stuff that you were going to do. I think that helps us make us an easy choice. Love that guy with your words, with your actions. Love that girl that's next to you that's hard to love with your words, with your actions. Maybe just by showing respect that they haven't even received from anyone before. Wouldn't that blow somebody's mind, huh? <laughs> show a little honor today. Wouldn't that blow somebody's mind? Wow. Guys, have an amazing week. Do all the amazing stuff that you were called to do and remember you're God's joy. You're his joy. He chose you so long ago. It was before the world was even created. Before anything bad ever even happened in this in this universe, he chose you. What? <laughs> he did. It's going to be a good week. It can't be anything but, right? Have a good one. I love you.